here as we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. Oh my goodness, you know, 4th of July weekend is almost here and about that time we always expect it to be really hot outside. Yes. The African dust is just another factor that we're going to have to put into this equation this year. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely will. And it's uh, continuing for us. We had a decent break today for most areas, Casey, but it will pick back up as we move into tomorrow. We'll track that for you first as we've had a decrease this evening, but come tomorrow afternoon, another wave of moderate and at times some dense dust will fill the sky for us and it will give us that hazy fill. The environmental uh, forecast for tomorrow is going to remain in the moderate category as we go toward Wednesday, getting a brief break, still light to moderate, but then here comes another surge as we get to Thursday. But watch what happens by the end of the week. Friday, it begins to recede a little bit and actually everything starts to move back to the southwest. That will be the sign of a pattern change to come our way, which will help increase maybe some rain chances a bit more for us here in East Texas. But we've got to get through very warm days to come and also very humid conditions and those mosquitoes love the humidity for tomorrow and for Wednesday. We'll keep the mosquito meter in the medium category for us all because the temperatures will be quite warm. We start tomorrow morning only at about 78 to 79 for many areas and look at the temperatures over the next few days. We are rising 93 tomorrow, 95 on Wednesday up to 97 for some of us as we get into our Friday and then with a pattern change coming in by the weekend, we'll see those temperatures actually come back down toward the lower 90s. Yeah, it's still going to remain humid, but we will take the rain chances and we'll certainly take a break from the mid and the upper 90s that we could see. Here's the big picture on what's going on. The dust moving in because of this area of high pressure, that's just bringing up more Gulf moisture for us, but also the African dust. And that's where the high pressure will stay into the day tomorrow, which is why we're going to see another round of moderate to dense dust here in East Texas. But by Wednesday, we're going to begin to heat up a little bit more temperatures getting into the mid 90s. Some of our west areas could even reach the upper 90s, but everybody with a heat index around or even above 100 at times Tuesday all the way through Friday afternoon. Notice what happens with the high though as we get toward Friday. It will begin to retrograde back to the west. That gives us a change in the weather pattern, which will help support some rain chances that will begin to pick up as we get into the holiday weekend. That will start as early early as on Friday, but as we can move into Saturday, even as we head towards Sunday, some scattered shower and thunderstorm chances do look to pick up right now. Going to keep the rain chances low. We have a lot of time to figure this out, and it's not a washout for your upcoming holiday, but it is something that we do need to keep an eye on. In the meantime, it's the heat that will really be the big story. Mid 90s over the next few days, a decent wind for tomorrow afternoon, and then those storm chances do pick up. You can count on some for the 4th of July. Here's deep east Texas also on track to see very warm weather to the lower and the mid 90s. We will see some slight rain chances, at least for now, beginning as early as Friday afternoon. All right, Marcus, thank you.